Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We welcome everyone, members of the area faith community and visitors alike, to the Church of Our Lady of the Lakes for this celebration of the Eucharist on this 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please remember the soul of Louis McLouth, son of Bill and Claire McLouth, whose funeral mass will be tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. here at Our Lady of the Lakes. We hold the McLouth family in our prayers. And let us give thanks to God who brings us together to strengthen our efforts in sharing the life of Christ and being the love of Christ. Now let us stand and join our voices together to begin our celebration with the song Table of Plenty. We'll sing verses one and four, one and four, Table of Plenty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Gathered in prayer this day, we indeed come to the feast that God has prepared for us, a feast of word and sacraments, the feast of this assembly gathered in prayer. And so let us open our hearts to the presence of God in our midst today. Let us acknowledge our sins as we welcome God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the light of the world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the cup of salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And glory to God in the highest, and on Amen. earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. 
bring to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Kings. Elijah went on a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for death, saying, This is enough, O Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my father's. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree. But then an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. Elijah looked, and there at his head was a hearth cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him, and ordered, Get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate, and drank. Then strengthened by that food, he walked forty days and forty nights to the mountain of God, Horeb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with which you were sealed for the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting, and reviling must be removed from you, along with all malice. And be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. So be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw them, and I will raise them on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, Whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. My friend, and there are moments that are similar to every single one of us, no matter what route we take to Mount Horeb. And one of those moments that we all share in is what I like to call the Elijah moment. It's where we find Elijah today. And I bet every single one of you here today have had that moment along the way as you're going to Mount Horeb. And the Elijah moment that I speak of is called, well, it's called exhaustion. 
Have you ever been there? Perhaps. And if you've never been exhausted in your life, chances are you've had a moment in your life where you've simply wanted to give up. And if you haven't had that moment, then chances are you've had a moment in your life where you've experienced loneliness. And if you haven't had that experience in your life, I bet you've had a moment where all of a sudden you've lost your sense of direction. And if you haven't had that, well, I know you've had this moment. You've had that moment where, where you're wishing your life away. Gosh, I can't wait until this gets over. Some of you might be thinking that right now as I'm preaching. We wish our life away. That's where we find Elijah today. He had to flee. He had to flee for his life because he was a prophet. And he was saying some things that were offending one queen by the name of Jezebel. And she, she was after his hide. And so fleeing, he went into the desert. But not just to hide from Jezebel, no. He went into the desert because he wanted to encounter God. But along the way, he experiences loneliness and exhaustion and a loss of a sense of direction, and he wants to give up, and he's had, well, he's simply had enough. God knows chances are you and I have had those moments. But then there's this this other incredible moment. It's what I like to call the broom tree moment. It's where Elijah finally finds himself. Now, if you've done your research, and I know you have, broom trees are actually not trees at all. They're a shrub. They're a big shrub. They're an evergreen. And they have deep roots. It's the reason why they're able to grow in arid places like deserts because they sink their roots deep so that they can gather the moisture needed so that they can provide this incredible canopy, which is where, where Elijah goes today, to escape the heat, to find some shade, to lay down so that he can, so that he can give up. But isn't it amazing that in that broom tree moment, in the shadows of that broom tree, as Elijah wants to encounter God by going to Mount Horeb, the most amazing thing happens. God comes to Elijah. God comes to him under the broom tree. God comes and taps Elijah on the shoulder and says to him, get up and eat, else the journey will be way too long. And isn't that why we're here this morning? Isn't that why we get up every Sunday and go to church? Isn't that why we gather to worship? Isn't that why we come to this table to be fed and nourished? Because you and I have come to realize that the journey will be too long if we don't eat. If we don't come to receive the bread of life, if we don't have this Eucharistic feast, which I like to call a broom tree moment, it is here every single week that we have the opportunity to come and to encounter a God who taps us on the shoulder and quite simply says, I know. I know life can be exhausting. I know life can be filled with moments of losing one's sense of direction. I know there are times that you want to give up. I know there are times that you're experiencing loneliness, but nonetheless, here am I. I am the bread of life, and I come to you this day, and I give you my life. I give you my love. I give you food to eat. So that in this moment, this Elijah and broom tree moment, we might come to discover that even though the journey sometimes can seem incredibly long, it is a journey that is filled with adventure. It is a journey where we don't have to wait until we die to encounter God in heaven. The Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. 
As we gather to seek God's strength and help, we lift our voices in prayer to the Lord this day. That we as a church may be strengthened and inspired by the bread of life to become living bread for a hungry and struggling world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That our leaders may never give up on establishing peace, peace found in dialogue and compromise, for peace in our homes, in our communities, and in our world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who gather to receive the Eucharist may be sustained and reconciled to one another in God's love, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That teachers, students, and school administrators preparing for a new academic year here at home and on college campuses may be sustained in their reliance on God each day, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That kindness, forgiveness, and compassion will define our lives and our efforts to be the body of Christ for others, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Louis McLeod and Mary Ann Vipond, mother of Robin Tanner, and for the intentions written in our book of prayer requests, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God of grace, source of our joy, we thank you for the gift of your Son, the bread of life that you give to us as food and nourishment on the way. And so with grateful hearts, we offer to you our prayers, asking that you answer them according to your will, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our song during the preparation of the gifts will be, I am the living bread. It's been a while since I said that. See this bread, take and eat and live in me. See this cup, take and drink, remember me. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, be pleased to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy 
you have given them to be offered, and by your power, you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things, and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, death, O oh Lord, until... Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the offering of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son, and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful God, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. Amen. Let us now together pray for our daily bread as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And without shaking hands, let us turn and extend the sign of peace to one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those now called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. song during communion will be as grains of wheat.
Let us pray. O Lord, may the communion in your sacrament that we have received save us and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. With may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Our song for going forth will be Anthem. Up there on the screen, let us join our voices to conclude our celebration today. Mm -hmm. 